everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. So glad you could join us today for an interesting film called Bitter Tooth. Now, Bitter Tooth is the name given by the media to a serial killer who has been leaving bodies and body parts in their wake for a number of decades, actually. Enter in true crime podcasters Ivy and Mia. Ivy and Mia has started this true crime podcast to try to solve some cold cases, and uh, they've been having fun doing it. But another reason why they're doing it is so Mia can get over the trauma of what, the experience she had from running into Bitter Tooth. Yes, Mia is the only sur known survivor of a Bitter Tooth attack. And we see how these two decide to take on this case, try to track down and figure out who actually is the Bitter Tooth killer and bring them to justice and hopefully closure to Mia. But as it plays out and they investigate and they think they've found the individual who could be Bitter Tooth, things get spun on their head and it takes an unexpected turn for uh, at least one or two people involved. Uh, Bitter Tooth, wow, it was uh, great to see a modern telling uh, or modern take, if you will, on kind of the uh, slasher horror story. That's not really a slasher horror film though because uh, while we do get a couple of those scenes in here uh it's more kind of like hillbilly horror i guess for lack of a better description uh it's told from a unique perspective because we are introduced to someone who could be the bitter tooth killer and uh you just you realize there's something not quite right with this individual especially with their potential victim who are introduced early on and uncomfortableness and a grittiness a definite grittiness to this, a, a griminess to this. So they give you that feeling right away of this on this individual. And then we get Ivy and Mia who are doing their podcast. We do get a lot of segments and talk between these two as uh, they're working out uh, their investigation of who could be uh, the uh, bitter tooth killer and Mia reluctant to do this. Ivy wanting to help her friend, plus also get the likes and subscribes and such um, because of course there is the social media aspect of podcasting and they address that as well what i thought was interesting is how this played out they spin it on its head about the last third of the film in an unexpected twist which i thought was very creative the only problem i had with it was it it didn't quite feel completed uh while i don't want my hand held in a lot of explanation Given what the twist is, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more gelling in the motivation of things, but we, I, I, we, I just felt like we don't quite get that in here. You get enough, sure, but maybe just a little bit more. Didn't take away from my uh, enjoyment of the film, and I loved how this film it comes to its climactic ending. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is a bit of a slower journey though, folks, so you just have to be patient, but it does really ramp things up in the last third of the film uh, once you get there. Uh, but yeah, it, there was just a bit of a head-scratching moment. Genevieve Thompson, play, uh, excuse me, Genevieve Thomas uh, plays Mia Noah, and I thought she did very well in here. Autumn Ivy plays Ivy Unicorn, and I like the dynamic between these two different personalities uh, and their approach to these characters. And then we introduced the other two characters, Flint Dawes, played by Justin Michael Terry, and uh, Joe uh, Altieri uh, is playing, uh, uh, da uh, excuse me, David Lee Dawes. And I thought they both did well too, especially for the roles they're in. And we get to see more of them later on. And yeah, it's a grimy, gritty a bit surreal story that I know what they were going for. And maybe if there were just a few more elements thrown in, maybe not so much exposition, but just a few, uh, I think I would have enjoyed it even better. But it's still something that I think everyone should watch if you're looking for something different on your uh, serial killer horror film. So thank you so much for watching. Check out Bitter Tooth. If you have seen Bitter Tooth, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Like, subscribe, bells and whistles, all that here. I thank you for watching and your support. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.